More on Adobe Photoshop CC 2020. We learned about the basic concepts and tools of Adobe Photoshop CC in the previous chapter. Let us learn about some more advanced features and tools in this chapter. Layers in Photoshop Layers are useful because they let you add components to an image and work on them one at a time without permanently changing your original image. For each layer, you can adjust color and brightness, apply special effects, reposition layer content, specify opacity and blending values, and so on. You can also rearrange the stacking order, link layers to work on them simultaneously, and create web animations with layers. Layers are like stacked, transparent sheets of glass on which you can paint images. You can see through the transparent areas of a layer to the layers below. You can work on each layer independently, experimenting to create the effect you want. Each layer remains independent until you combine, merge, the layers. The bottommost layer in the layers panel, background layer, is always locked, protected, which means you cannot change its stacking order, blending mode, or opacity, unless you convert it into a regular layer. Layers are organized in the Layers panel. Keep this panel visible whenever you're working in Adobe Photoshop. With one glance, you can see the active layer, the selected layer that you are editing. You can link layers, so they move as a unit to help you manage layers. Because multiple layers in an image increase the file size, you can reduce the file size by merging layers when you are done editing. The layers panel is an important source of information as you edit photos. You can also use the layer menu to work with layers. Ordinary layers are pixel-based image layers. There are several other layer types you can use to create special effects. Fill layers contain a color gradient, solid color, or pattern. Adjustment layers enable you to fine-tune color, brightness, and saturation without making permanent changes to your image until you flatten or collapse the adjustment layer. Type layers and shape layers let you create vector-based text and shapes. Layers panel The layers panel lists all layers in an image, from the top layer to the background layer at the bottom. The active layer, or the layer that you are working on, is highlighted for easy identification. As you work on an image, check which layer is active to make sure that the adjustments and edits you perform affect the correct layer. Using the icons in the panel, you can accomplish many tasks such as creating, hiding, linking, locking, and deleting layers. Create and name a new blank layer. To create a layer with the default name and settings, click on the new layer button in the layers panel. The resulting layer uses normal mode with 100% opacity and is named according to its creation order. To rename the new layer, double-click it and type a new name. Step 1. Click on layer from the application bar. Step 2. Select new option from the menu. Step 3. Choose layer option from the submenu. Step 4. The new layer dialog box appears. Type a name for the layer in the name box. Step 5. Click on OK button. The new layer is automatically selected and appears in the panel above the layer that was last selected. Smart Objects Smart objects are layers that contain image data from raster or vector images, such as Photoshop or Illustrator files. Smart objects preserve an image's source content with all its original characteristics, 
enabling you to perform non-destructive editing to the layer. In Photoshop, you can embed the contents of an image into a Photoshop document. In Photoshop, you can also create linked smart objects whose contents are referenced from external image files. The contents of a linked smart object are updated when its source image file changes. Linked smart objects are distinct from duplicated instances of a smart object within a Photoshop document. With linked smart objects, you can use a shared source file across multiple Photoshop documents. Smart Object Benefits With smart objects, you can perform non-destructive transforms. You can scale, rotate, skew, distort, perspective transform, or warp a layer without losing original image data or quality because the transforms don't affect the original data. Perform non-destructive filtering. You can edit filters applied to smart objects at any time. Edit one smart object and automatically update all its linked instances. Apply a layer mask that is either linked or unlinked to the smart object layer. Try various designs with low-resolution placeholder images that you later replace with final versions. Eyedropper tool the eyedropper tool samples color to designate a new foreground or background color. You can sample from the active image or from anywhere else on the screen. Follow these steps to use the eyedropper tool. Step 1. Select the eyedropper tool. Step 2. In the options bar, change the sample size of the eyedropper by choosing an option from the sample size menu. Point sample reads the precise value of the pixel you click. 3 by 3 average, 101 by 101 average, reads the average value of the specified number of pixels within the area you click. Step 3. Choose one of the following from the sample menu. All layers, samples color from all layers in the document. Current layer. Samples color from the currently active layer. Step 4. Do one of the following. To select a new foreground color, click in the image. Alternatively, position the pointer over the image, press the mouse button, and drag anywhere on the screen. The foreground color selection box changes dynamically as you drag. Release the mouse button to pick the new color. To select a new background color, Alt plus click in the image. Alternatively, position the pointer over the image, press Alt, press the mouse button, and drag anywhere on the screen. The background color selection box changes dynamically as you drag. Release the mouse button to pick the new color. Color Sampler Tool Color Sampler tool enables us to view color values in specific spots of the image. Follow these steps to use the Color Sampler tool. Step 1. Select Color Sampler tool from the Tools panel. Step 2. Click on any spot in the image to view color values. Step 3. Refer to Info panel to view the numerical values of the color. You can click on various spots to display multiple color values. Step 4. Click on Clear All button in the Options bar to delete all samples. Ruler Tool The Ruler Tool helps you position images or elements precisely. This tool calculates the distance between any two points in the workspace. When you measure from one point to another, Non-printing line is drawn, and the options bar and info panel show the following information. The starting location, X and Y. The horizontal, W, and vertical, H, distances travel from the X and Y axis. The angle measured relative to the axis, A. The total length traveled, L1. The two lengths traveled, 
L1 and L2 when you use a protractor. Note tool. You can attach notes to an image in Photoshop. This is useful for associating review comments, production notes, or other information with the image. Notes appear as small non-printable icons on the image. They are associated with a location on the image rather than with a layer. You can hide or show notes or open notes to view or edit their contents. Follow these steps to add notes. Step 1. Select the Note tool in the Tools panel. Step 2. In the Options bar, enter or specify the following as needed. Author specifies the note author's name. Color selects the color for the note icon. Clicking the color box opens the Adobe Color Picker so you can select a color. Step 3. Click where you want to place the note. Step 4. The cursor will automatically be active. Background Eraser Tool The Background Eraser Tool erases pixels on a layer to transparency as you drag. You can erase the background while maintaining the edges of an object in the foreground. By specifying different sampling and tolerance options, you can control the range of the transparency and the sharpness of the boundaries. Follow these steps to use the background eraser tool. Step 1. In the layers panel, select the layer containing the areas you want to erase. Step 2. Select the background eraser tool. Step 3. Click the brush sample in the options bar and set brush options in the pop-up panel. Choose settings for the diameter, hardness, spacing, angle, and roundness options. Step 4. Do the following in the options bar. Choose a limits mode for erasing, this contiguous to erase the sampled color. Wherever it occurs under the brush, contiguous to erase areas that contain the sampled color and are connected to one another. And find edges to erase. Connected areas containing the sample color while better preserving the sharpness of shape edges. For tolerance, enter a value or drag the slider. A low tolerance limits erasure to areas that are very similar to the sampled color. A high tolerance erases a broader range of colors. Select protect foreground color to prevent the erasure of areas that match the Foreground color in the toolbox. Choose a sampling option, continuous to sample colors continuously as you drag. Once to erase only areas containing the color you first click and background. Swatch to erase only areas containing the current background color. Step 5. Drag through the area you want to erase. The background eraser tool pointer appears as a brush shape. Circle with a crosshair plus indicating the tool's hotspot. Magic Eraser Tool Magic Eraser Tool is used to erase similar colored pixels in an image to transparency and drag or click. By specifying different sampling and tolerance options, you can control the range of the transparency and the sharpness of the boundaries. Follow these steps to use the background eraser tool. Step 1. In the layers panel, select the layer containing the areas you want to erase. Step 2. Select the magic eraser tool. Step 3. Do the following in options bar. For tolerance, enter a value or drag the slider. A low tolerance limits erasure to areas that are very similar to the sampled color. A high tolerance erases a broader range of colors. Tick the anti-alias checkbox for smooth edge transitions. Tick the contiguous checkbox to erase areas that contain the sampled color and are connected to one another. Tick the Sample All Layers checkbox which uses merged data to determine the areas to erase. 
Set high opacity to completely erase the pixels. Step 4. Drag the magic eraser pointer through the area you want to erase. Retouching tools. Spot healing brush tools. The spot healing brush tool quickly removes imperfections in your photos. This tool paints with sample pixels from an image or pattern and matches the texture, lighting, transparency, and shading of the sample pixels to the pixels being healed. It automatically samples from around the retouched area. Follow these steps to use the Spot Healing Brush Tool. Step 1. Select the Spot Healing Brush Tool. Step 2. Choose a brush size. A brush that is slightly larger than the area you want to fix works. Best so that you can cover the entire area with one click. Step 3. Choose one of the following type options in the Tool Options bar. Content Aware. Compares nearby image content to seamlessly fill the selection, realistically maintaining key details such as shadows and object edges. Proximity Match uses the pixels around the edge of the selection to find an image area to use as a patch for the selected area. If this option does not provide a satisfactory fix, choose Edit Undo and try the Create Texture option. Create Texture uses all the pixels in a selection to create a texture for fixing the area. If the texture doesn't work, try dragging through the area a second time. Step 4. Click the area you want to fix in the image or click and drag over a larger area. Healing Brush Tool The Healing Brush Tool quickly removes imperfections in your photos. You can remove objects from a uniform background. Follow these steps to use the Healing Brush Tool. Step 1. Select the Healing Brush Tool. Step 2. Choose a brush size from the Tool Options bar and set Healing Brush Options. Mode determines how the source or pattern blends with existing pixels. Normal mode lays new pixels over the original pixels. Replace mode preserves film grain and texture at the edges of the brush stroke. Source sets the source to use for repairing pixels. Sample uses pixels from the current image. Pattern uses pixels from the pattern you specify in the pattern panel. Aligned Samples pixels continuously without losing the current sampling point, even if you release the mouse button. Deselect align to continue using the sampled pixels from the initial sampling point each time you stop and resume painting. Sample all layers. Choose sample all layers to sample data from the current layer. The current layer and below are all visible layers. Step 3. Position the mouse pointer in an open image and press Alt plus click to sample data. Step 4. Drag the image over the floor to meld existing data with sampled data. The sampled pixels meld with the existing pixels each time you release the mouse button. Patch Tool The patch tool lets you repair a selected area with pixels from another area or a pattern. Like the Healing Brush Tool, the Patch Tool matches the texture, lighting, and shading of the sampled pixels to the source pixels. You can also use the Patch Tool to clone isolated areas of an image. The Patch Tool works with 8 bits or 16 bits per Follow these steps to use the Content Aware Move tool. Step 1. In the toolbar, hold down the Spot Healing Brush tool and select the Content Aware Move tool. Step 2. In the Options bar, do the following. Mode 
Use the move mode to place selected objects at a different location. Use the extend mode to expand or contract objects. Structure. Enter a value between 1 and 7 to specify how closely the patch should reflect existing image patterns. If you enter 7, the patch adheres very strongly to existing image patterns. If you enter 1, the patch adheres very loosely to the existing image patterns. Color. Enter a value between 0 and 10 to specify the extent to which you want. Photoshop to apply algorithmic color blending to the patch. If you enter 0, color blending is disabled. A color value of 10 applies maximum color blending. Sample all layers. Enable this option to use information from all layers to create the result of the move in the selected layer. Select the target layer in the layers panel. Transform on drop. When this option is enabled, you can scale the part of the image that you have just moved to its new location. Simply adjust the resizing handles for the moved part of the image. Step 3. Select an area to move or extend. You can use the move tool to draw a selection or use any of the other selection tools as well. Step 4. Drag the selection to the area you want to place the object. Red Eye Tool Red Eye is a common issue that occurs when your photo subject's retina is illuminated by your camera's flash. You'll see it more often when taking pictures in a darkened room because the subject's iris is wide open. Follow these steps to use this tool. Step 1. To manually fix red eye, select the red eye tool in quick or expert mode. Step 2. In the tool options bar, set the pupil radius and darken amount. Step 3. In the image, do one of the following. Click a red area of an eye. Draw a selection over the eye area. Dot. When you release the mouse button, the red is removed from the eyes. Pattern Stamp Tool The Pattern Stamp Tool paints with a pattern. You can select a pattern from the pattern libraries or create your own patterns. Follow these steps to use the Pattern Stamp Tool. Step 1. Select the Pattern Stamp Tool. Step 2. Choose a brush from the Brush Presets panel. Step 3. Set tool options for mode, opacity etc. in the options bar. Step 4. Select aligned in the options bar to maintain the pattern's continuity with your original start point, even if you release the mouse button and then continue painting. Deselect align to restart the pattern each time you stop and start painting. Step 5. Select a pattern from the pattern pop-up panel in the options bar. Step 6. If you want to apply the pattern with an impressionistic effect, select Impressionist. Step 7. Drag in the image to paint it with the pattern. Blur Tool The Blur Tool softens hard edges or reduces detail in an image. The more you paint over an area with the tool, the blurrier it becomes. Follow these steps to use the Blur Tool. Step 1. Select the Blur tool. Step 2. Do the following in the Options bar. Choose a brush tip and set options for the blending mode and strength in the Options bar. Select Sample All Layers in the Options bar to blur using data from all visible layers. Deselect this option and the tool uses data from only the active layer. Step 3. Drag over the part of the image you want to blur. Sharpen tool. The sharpen tool increases contrast along edges to increase apparent sharpness. The more you paint over an area with the tool, the more sharpening increases. Follow these steps to use the sharpen tool. Step 1. Select the sharpen tool. 
Step 2. Do the following in the options bar. Choose a brush tip and set options for the blending mode and strength. Select sample all layers to sharpen using data from all visible layers. If this is deselected, the tool uses data from only the active layer. Select protect detail to enhance details and minimize pixelated artifacts. Deselect this option if you want to produce more exaggerated sharpening effects. Step 3. Drag over the part of the image you want to sharpen. Smudge tool. The smudge tool simulates the effect you see when you drag a finger through wet paint. The tool picks up color where the stroke begins and pushes it in the direction you drag. Step 1. Select the smudge tool. Step 2. Choose a brush tip and options for the blending mode in the options bar. Step 3. Select sample all layers in the options bar to smudge using color data from all visible layers. If this is deselected, the smudge tool uses colors from only the active layer. Step 4. Select finger painting in the options bar to smudge using the foreground color at the beginning of each stroke. If this is deselected, the smudge tool uses the color under the pointer at the beginning of each stroke. Step 5. Drag in the image to smudge the pixels. Dodge tool and burn tool. The dodge tool and the burn tool lighten or darken areas of the image. These tools are based on a traditional darkroom technique for regulating exposure on specific areas of a print. Photographers hold back light to lighten an area on the print, dodging, or increase the exposure to darken areas on a print, burning. The more you paint over an area with the dodge or burn tool, the lighter or darker it becomes. Follow the steps to use these tools. Step 1. Select the dodge tool or the burn tool. Step 2. Choose a brush tip and set brush options in the options bar. Step 3. In the options bar, select one of the following from the range menu. Midtones changes the middle range of grays. Shadows changes the dark areas. Highlights changes the light areas. Step 4. Specify the exposure for the dodge tool or the burn tool. Step 5. Click the airbrush button to use the brush as an airbrush. Alternatively, select the airbrush option in the brush panel. Step 6. Select the protect tones option to minimize clipping in the shadows and highlights. This option also tries to keep colors from shifting hue. Step 7. Drag over the part of the image you want to lighten or darken. Sponge Tool The sponge tool subtly changes the color saturation of an area. When an image is in grayscale mode, the tool increases or decreases contrast by moving gray levels away from or toward the middle gray. Follow these steps to use the sponge tool. Step 1. Select the sponge tool in the tools panel. Step 2. In the options bar, set the following. Choose a brush tip and set brush options. Choose the way you want to change the color from the mode menu. Saturate intensifies the saturation of color. Desaturate dilutes the saturation of color. Specify flow to set the rate of saturation change. Select the vibrance option to minimize clipping for fully saturated or desaturated colors. Step 3. Drag over the part of the image you want to modify. Creating shapes. Selecting a shape tool. From the toolbar, Click and hold the Shape Tool group icon to bring up the various Shape Tool options such as Rectangle, Ellipse, Triangle, Polygon, Line, and Custom Shape. Select a tool for the shape you want to draw. 
set shape tool options in the options bar you can set mode set a mode for your shape tool shape path and pixels fill choose a color to fill the shape stroke choose the color width and type of the shape stroke w and h manually set the width and height of the shape path operations use path operations to set the way the shapes interact with each other path alignment use path alignment to align and distribute the shape components path arrangement use path arrangement to set the stacking order of shapes you create additional shape and path options click the gear icon to access additional shape and path options to set attributes such as width and color of the on screen display of your path and constraint options while drawing shapes draw a custom shape follow these steps to draw a custom shape step 1 click and drag on the canvas with your selected shape tool to draw a shape This automatically creates a new shape layer in the layers panel. Step 2, hold the shift key while drawing to make your shapes proportional. Step 3, with your shape layer selected, use the move tool to move your shape around and reposition on the canvas. Step 4, to easily scale, transform or rotate your shape, choose edit free transform path or press control plus T. navigation tools we use navigation tools to quickly modify the view of images in photoshop let us learn about them hand tool hand tool helps us scroll through the image on the canvas we can also hold the space bar key for the same function this tool is helpful when we are working on a magnified image or working with lasso tool for selection rotate view tool you use the rotate view tool to rotate the canvas non destructively it does not transform the image rotating the canvas can be useful for any number of reasons including facilitating easier painting or drawing zoom tool we can use the zoom tool to zoom in or zoom out of an image when we use the zoom tool each click magnifies or reduces the image to the next preset percentage and centers the display around the point you click when the image has reached its maximum magnification level of 3200% or minimum size of 1 pixel the magnifying glass appears empty keyboard shortcuts in photoshop we can use various shortcut keys Observe the following table to learn about some keyboard shortcuts. Result shortcut for Windows: Free Transform Control Plus T. Toggle between painting and erasing with the same brush. Hold down tilde tilde accent. Deselect selections. Control Plus D. Undo last command. Control Plus Z. Decrease brush size. Increase brush size. Rotate the brush tip by one degree. Left arrow. Anti-clockwise. Right. arrow clockwise rotate the brush tip by 15 degrees shift plus left arrow anti clockwise shift plus right arrow clockwise default foreground background colors d switch foreground background colors x fit layers to screen alt plus click layer new layer via copy control plus j new layer via cut shift plus control plus j add to a selection any selection tool plus shift plus drag delete brush or swatch alt plus click brush or swatch toggle auto select checkbox in options bar with move tool selected control plus click close all open documents other than the current document control plus alt plus p cancel any modal dialog window including the start workspace escape select the first edit field of the toolbar enter navigate between fields tab Navigate between fields in the opposite direction tab plus shift change cancel to reset alt 